Hi everybody, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what the major ports are in the uh, Puget Sound area, uh, particularly in the Seattle area and Tacoma area, um, and a number of these other ports um, that are here. So uh, basically the reason I wanted to work on this um, was I was interested in finding some work in the area and just wanted to do some uh, preliminary research about uh, what kind of shipping is going on in the area. Uh, even though uh, I don't live directly in the Seattle area, I traveled in to Seattle a number of times uh, around uh, during the entire uh, Puget Sound. Um, but I wanted to kind of look at uh, what the job opportunities are uh, in the area. I hope this uh, helps you a lot. Um, so here we are kind of in the south part of the Puget Sound area. Um, you can see uh, there's a number of ports. Each one of these uh, yellow anchors is a port. Um, however, uh, perhaps the largest uh, port in uh, the Seattle area is actually in Tacoma, interestingly, and uh, the second largest is in Seattle. Um, but they're very similar uh, volume in terms of uh, total number of imports and exports. Uh, so in the south uh, part of uh, to, uh, the Puget Sound is the port of Tacoma, and it's basically right in here. Uh, we're going to zoom in and look at it uh, in a second. Um, but basically the shipping lines you can see kind of run up through here, and the port basically operates uh, one uh, for leaving and one for entering uh, the bay. You're going to see this is perhaps uh, uh, you're supposed to have be on the right side. Uh, there's it works similar to normal shipping lanes, uh, like cars and all that. So after I zoom in here, it's going to delete the uh, shipping lines, but you can kind of see uh, some of the port area a little bit better. So you can see most of the port is right here uh, in this area. So a quick introduction here is that uh, they do some of these measurements in uh, what's called a short ton maybe you see here um, and one short ton is equal to about 2,000 pounds um, so it gives you some idea but interesting thing here is the port of Louisiana now I'm not sure how accurate some of these numbers are but it's the busiest port in terms of total trade um, so uh, this is in short tons and this is for 20, 2021 um, but uh, you can see down in here in Washington is down lower in this list uh, but the Port of Tacoma is uh, down in, in the let's see if I can find this Port of Tacoma right here so it's uh, number 28 but they really you had to combine this with Seattle and then you start to get the real picture they're probably in the top 20 um, but still there's a lot of big difference between some of these ports uh, in terms of the amount of trade uh, so some quick stats on this I found on this fact sheet is that uh, it is the fourth uh, among US ports in terms of total dollar value so that's not necessarily uh, the uh, total weight um, uh, and then so it equals about 43 billion dollars uh, you can see that there's 49 billion dollars down here for Tacoma um, and you can see that they were exporting a lot of grain seed and fruit and importing a lot of machinery there's about 200,000 jobs uh, in the area um, and actually they have over uh, 100 in 100,000 jobs down in the other port um, so it's kind of interesting I don't know how accurate that number is but um, it's interesting to see uh, they also list the other ports here there are smaller ports uh, in the area ever would be another one to look at um, in terms of shipping Uh, so judging from this map, you can see most of the uh, shipping comes in through here and uh, kind of on the southwest side of the Tacoma port. Uh, and they got the many of the warehouses are over here on the north side, which is interesting. So they might have to pick them up here and bring them to the warehouse or and then take them off uh, through here or something like that. So um, it is interesting to kind of think about uh, where the potential smaller companies are. might be, it looks like they might nice might, some of the nicer ones might actually be located over here on Marine View Drive because they have waterfront access and there might be some small shipping companies um, that might be able to be interesting. But 
there's a bridge here that might cause some problems, so that's probably not possible unless that bridge uh, can be lifted. So, uh, but it might be nice for a little office space to work with shipping and see uh, some of the things going on um, in the area. And then not as directly involved with the waterfront, uh, but maybe being able to see some of the stuff going on. Uh, it might be also on the dock street here. They, they have the general marina is over here. Um, but it's a pretty steep hill, if I recall correctly. Let me see if I can get a 3D map to show what that looks like. So in general, where we're looking at is over here. Uh, but I'll try to zoom in here, kind of see, see where the port of Tacoma is. And we'll try to... Uh, reposition this to see um, kind of the area and then the port of Seattle it's gonna take a little while to load uh, the imagery but you can see down here is Tacoma um, and then the port will load in here in a second um, so basically what we're talking about is the hills along this port area um, you can kind of start to see where the Shipping lines are on here. It just looks like they got some train tracks, some other things going on. But this is the basic layout of the port. Uh, so here we're looking at the port of Seattle. Um, so if you zoom out here, you can kind of see we were just over here uh, in Tacoma. Um, but the nice part about the Port of Seattle is that uh, you can see a lot of the ships coming in and out from Pioneer Square and there's some smaller office spaces and uh, businesses even that you can get a little good view of the waterfront and you can walk to the waterfront and also walk to downtown Seattle pretty easily. Um, it's also part of Chinatown in here so there's some nice uh, places uh, to live and work. Um, so it makes Port of Seattle pretty desirable um, in terms of uh, things so you can get to the port um, you can even almost walk to the port uh, right in here so uh, it's just interesting to consider uh, that as a factor uh, so you can kind of imagine a ship pulling up here and uh, being uh, you know worked on with the cargo and it looks like they took this picture on an empty cargo day which is kind of interesting um, but uh, you can also see here they got different types of cranes uh, right along the water here to pick up um, and get the cargo off the ships um, and then more of like an oil depot over on this side um, and uh, some other docking points uh, which would be interesting so it might be some super interesting uh, work right on in these buildings it calls it uh, the, the Todd Pacific Shipyards um, and this is called Harbor Island apparently so uh, but uh, there might also be some uh, I, I drove over here there's a nice little park uh, to look at the port and it's kind of some houses and some maybe some job opportunities along in here uh, but it's what I really wanted to see is something where you can uh, look out at the docks and check out what's going on uh, so I wasn't really planning on covering the port of Vancouver but actually the port of Vancouver is pretty large you see a lot of shipping uh, going on up in here um, and in fact uh, I'm not even sure what the ratio is uh, between it and Tacoma but it might be uh, comparable um, and there's also Everett up here um, where is it Everett's right in here um, that's a pretty interesting port um, for an opportunity um, just for in Port Angeles for doing some shipping uh, that might be a more affordable um, and actually, if you look at the waterfront over here, there's more waterfront um, kind of right on here. So you can see Port of Everett's right here. So you kind of have a nice waterfront view of the ships coming in, um, which makes it pretty interesting as a port uh, overall. So you can kind of see, uh, I'll just zoom in here. You can kind of see how this all works. So they do have a shipping yard here, and they got a number of different shipping things going on as, as well as private docks, which is great. So uh, some possibilities uh, as well. Um, so I'm actually really happy that I looked at Port of Vancouver here just because it actually may have some of the best opportunities um, 
and at least me on the second best. Seattle's got pretty good waterfront views um, because you actually got to look out into most of the Puget Sound. But here, also in Vancouver, you kind of have this little protected bay, and then you have the downtown east side, and then you have the port, which is located right in here, and then also some shipping on this side. So there's quite a lot of shipping going on. Uh, alternatives uh, that you can see here, you can see all these guys uh, kind of coming in and out here, and then the shipping over here as well. So there's quite a number of spots um, to interesting kind of shipping environments. Uh, maybe harder, the roads don't look as uh, focused for the shippers, uh, but uh, it would be interesting to look at the job opportunities in this area, especially. Uh, with that, I think I might end this um, just because we looked at many of the major ports. Uh, there might be another one to look at up in Bellingham uh, and also in Victoria. I guess I could spend a little bit more time later uh, and look at those. Uh, Port Angeles might also be interesting, uh, but it's kind of far from everything, so and it doesn't have a lot of opportunities to get for shipping unless you get to road um, stuff, but Everett looks pretty good. Uh, Tacoma has maybe some of the best, uh, just because it can get out of Seattle quickly and on the I-90 uh, and shipping you basically into the rest of uh, America off of 90. Um, but uh, here's kind of the overview. I also wanted to show you this. Uh, you can add marinas in here. So this is showing marinas where you can have uh, traditional boats uh, go and then there's also different vessel types. So I was just gonna add some of these. So you got cargo vessels. So the green ones are cargo. Kind of see where some of the cargo, so there's quite a lot of cargo up here right now on these live maps up in, uh, uh, up there, and then you can see kind of a number of them there. Uh, and then I would just wanna show you tankers. So you see where the tankers are. There's a number of tankers being come up here into Bellingham area. I just wanna zoom in to see where they are at kind of see what they are um, and then you got uh, fishing vessels um, kind of more on the northern side here you can see them kind of outside uh, fishing out on the open ocean um, but uh, if you want to look at all the boats you can just add them all in here you can kind of see where they are um, but uh, you know it may be possible to contact some of these boat owners uh, once you click on them you can like if you want to see uh, this guy here, uh, what I would recommend uh, is maybe starting with the uh, cargo vessels, the green ones. So here's a cargo vessel, for instance, and I'll show you a little picture of him. He's got 18 photos. Um, looks like it's got his start, Vancouver, and then he's going to Santos, Brazil. Um, so this is maybe a pretty interesting ship. Um, it calls the CMB uh, Rubens. Uh, but, uh, you can contact maybe the ship owners, find out what kind of cargoes they got, um, and different things like that. Uh, once you find a ship you're interested in, you can f search for it, and you might find this vessel finder thing helpful. It shows you not only where it's located, but some of the other places that uh, it's been to uh, recently, um, and how long they've been there, and what times. Another interesting point that I would say is that near some of these islands, uh, sometimes you'll have smaller ships uh, that have, uh, like for example, here's a little guy. Uh, it's not such a little guy, but uh, sometimes you'll have uh, certain ones. I'm just looking for a smaller one here that is actually trying to ship uh, something, uh, you know, just locally to one of the islands. Maybe we'd have to look down here in Victoria, but. Uh, little cargo guys uh, going in between these you might want to look and check at a smaller port um, and just contact them and find out uh, you know essentially what they're trying to ship anyway that's it for the study I hope you really enjoyed it uh, let me know what ideas you have uh, if there's certain things that you have recommendations for finding jobs and import and exporting I'd be glad to talk to you more about it um, just finding out um, just different certain techniques for finding jobs in the market uh, thanks again and uh, I'm glad you uh, hopefully you enjoyed it thanks